Hey, welcome to Dysfunctional Function. I'm Christine. This is Kimmy. Hi, everyone. How, yeah. everyone. How are you? Hope you're doing well today. So today we're going to talk about superstitions. Everyone has superstitions of some kind. Um, we must be wonder superstition song. Okay. Anyway, good song. Yeah, it is great song. Um, do you remember growing up? Have anyone Fairly. saying to you anything like superstitious like your grandma or your mom or your dad I remember something about throwing salt over your shoulder if you spell salt no you're like supposed to throw it over your shoulder good luck or something I don't know the the famous ooh if a black cat cro you know crosses your path you're supposed mm -hmm. to turn around and drive 20 miles out of your way so you don't cross it you know, mm -hmm. crosses your path bad luck. And the mirror thing. When I was little, that was the one thing. So I actually broke a mirror and I was like petrified because I was supposed to have like seven years of bad luck, mm -hmm. which brought me pretty much into adult, you know, teenage years. I was like, seriously. However, though, for that superstition of if you break a mirror, it's seven years bad luck. Um, I was told if you go bury that mirror. Nobody told me that. That it will... All my childhood make problems, the, I blame on the mirror. The energy good again. No. Scooby Doo. That's how you make so, your energy good again. The Scooby Doo thing. The Scooby Doo. Okay. So anyway. Yeah. Um, one that my mom was was really really strict on was do not throw a hat on a bed. That means someone's gonna die. So I don't know why. <laughs> well, I guess I know why. That always stuck with me, but... Um, oh, you don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> she was right, theoretically, in a certain situation. Um, when... No, I just can't say it. When the mailman comes over and he leaves his hand on the bed by mistake because he's lost in the sheets, somebody is going to die when Daddy comes home. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I'm drinking um, a lot of caffeine, so... Okay, this is a weird one. I've never tested the theory, but my mom, my grandma, um, aunts swore by it. So my mom in that generation um, loves to can. I don't know how to can. It's not one of my favorites. I don't like to cook. Anyway, if you, a woman is on her menstrual cycle, you weren't allowed in the kitchen to can the tomato, you know, the tomatoes and all that kind of stuff. And growing up, my mom cans every year. She still does. And so, so why? What happens if you're? You know, I this, don't. This is the tomato. Know. That, mm -hmm. I I don't know, but it was you weren't allowed to can anything. If you were on your cycle, you weren't allowed in the kitchen. Well, back in Anybody those days, I'd just be a hot mess all the time. I could never do anything in the kitchen because, unfortunately, I had issues. That's what I'd be saying. No, seriously. Has anyone else ever heard of that one? No. That no. sounds like a fabulous excuse to get out of work. Yeah. I would use it, definitely. I used it. I still don't know how to get in today. <laughs> so what's the thing? You were, she was saying something earlier. We were talking, and she's like, let's do the video on superstition. It's like, okay, all right. And then she was Googling stuff, and she came across this owl thing. She's like, if an owl comes into your house, if you're Italian, they have this thing. If an owl comes into your house, that means death. Or if, no, hang on. Or if you if you see owls, that means death. And I'm sitting here thinking, see, I like to take pictures of nature, and I'm like seeking out owls. I'm actually hunting them. So theoretically, does that mean I'm seeking death? Okay? I well, mean, owls are awesome. I love them. I always are. thought they were like the wise bird, you know, birds of wisdom. Well, you we know, everyone else... You know, everyone has superstitions. I wonder if that's um, true, though. So if you've had owl in your house and you died, leave a comment and let us know. Yeah. know if it's true. Okay. This one I have heard of before. If you give someone a knife. They'll stab you with it. No. Oh. They need to give you a penny. <laughs> you've never heard of that one? Uh, if someone gives you a knife. Sounds or, like an unfair trade to me, actually. <laughs> Well, no, like a not. pocket knife or a kitchen knife. Or... You know how much a pocket knife probably is nowadays? I it's... have no idea. But no. Okay. Oh, but no, it's, I'm, she's making, missing... I'm making fun of it because I'm not superstitious, so I'm being, you know. I am superstitious. I really am. She's missing difficult. my point. Um, The reason that you give someone a penny is because you don't ever want to sever 
that relationship. So, so it's like you know, I gave you. I give you a knife. I don't have. You give me a penny. Don't have one. Our relationship's been severed. So, um, yeah, I have heard of that one before. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. Um, this one was kind of interesting because I like supernatural. I like. You know, I believe in ghosts My and spirits. I just thought of one. Sorry, go ahead. Okay, hold hold that thought. Don't go home right after a funeral. Go to the bar. A oh, Filipino sorry. tradition called Pag Pag, P A G P A G, dictates that people never go straight back to the house after a wake. Otherwise, a bad spirit might tag along and come inside. Mourners will make a stop at a restaurant or a store first, just in case. Hmm. That's a new one. I've never heard that one. Okay, what's yours? Go. I forgot. You forgot? Okay, I'll carry okay. on. Okay, hang on now. What was it? If you don't use it, you lose it. No, I have no idea. Okay. So, I have heard this one, too. Don't whistle indoors. It invites evil. You can whistle while you work. But in Lithuania, it's forbidden to whistle indoors because Scary. the noise is believed to summon demons. Well, here's one. Don't hold seances or cult rituals in your house because you might summon demons too. That's right. Whistle in the house. I've never heard this one. You ready? Avoid sleeping with your head to the north. According to Japanese superstition, sleeping with your head in the direction is bad luck because that's how the deceased are laid to rest. I never really thought about that. Yeah. I always had the superstition, don't sleep with a plastic bag over your face. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, right. Remember, this isn't a kid's show, folks. What? So, now... Didn't we just say that the Japanese superstition is don't put your head to the north? Because that's how... Yeah. In Africa, you want to avoid sleeping with your head to the west. Maybe in Africa, that's how they lay people to rest. Is in with them facing the west. And maybe the Japanese face their deceased to the north. I'm guessing. I don't Talk know. Talk about laying. The one that I always remember was you made your bed. You lay in it. You guys have a great time, great day, whatever. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.